Did you know that teeth have the ability to repair themselves to some extent? Hello, my name is Connor, I'm a dentist, and in today's video we're going to be talking about remineralization. If you like these videos, please hit the like button, and what else should I make videos about? So in today's video we're going to be talking about remineralization. Let's get into it. Some organs in the body, like the skin or your liver, have the ability to regenerate or repair themselves over time. So for example, if you were to get a cut on your arm uh, in a week or two weeks time, that cut is probably gonna be healed up and back to normal like nothing ever happened. Teeth also have that same ability where they're able to repair themselves. And that process is known as remineralization. <laughs> the process of remineralization happens whenever we have saliva in our mouth because saliva is packed full of lots of different minerals like phosphates and calcium which help our teeth repair themselves by using those minerals. However, this process does have its limits and it can only go so far. Whenever teeth are made and they first erupt into the mouth, they are covered in enamel. At that stage, our body cannot make any more enamel. If it gets to the point where the enamel has been irreparably damaged, uh, and that means that if there's a little hole or a cavity that forms in the tooth, then that generally means that the tooth is probably going to need a filling. So in a situation like this, that is, is not going to remineralize. That cavity is just too big. If you are super, super meticulous and really, really looking after a tooth like that, there is a chance that it might not progress any further. But leaving a tooth like that has a high, high probability that that tooth is going to start to cause problems at some stage and may need an extraction, if not a root canal. However, that, that shouldn't be the, the end of the story there, because if, if decay does get to the point where it reaches the second layer of the tooth, the dentine, then it's not game over yet. You probably will still need a filling, but that doesn't mean you should give up caring for the tooth. Because if you start now and brushing that tooth really well and caring for it, it will slow the progress of that decay down and it'll make it much easier for your dentist to clean out the tooth and put a nice filling in. 